this video is a hot mess. Hello, beautiful people. If you are new here, my name is Joe. If you are not new here, welcome back to my channel. It is so great to have you guys all here today with me. So one of my favorite genres to read is fantasy romance. And I have not done a fantasy romance recommendations video on this channel thus far. And I, for one, think that is a crying shame. I have five fantasy romance books. Some of these are series. Some of these are standalones. One of them is a manga to share with you all today. So first up, we have the Broken Lands series by T.A. White. This is the first book, Pathfinder's Way. So in this world, venturing outside of your village is kind of like a no-can-do type of situation. It's very dangerous. It's very difficult. So each village is assigned what is called a Pathfinder. And Pathfinders are pretty much experts of the Broken Lands. Their job is to kind of lead people through the Broken Lands to get where they're trying to go safely and in one piece pretty much. So in this story we are following one of these pathfinders. Her name is Shea. So when Shea is betrayed by certain individuals in the village that she is working for, she finds herself captured by the Treteri Horde. The Treteri Horde are a group of barbarians who have been kind of scavenging the lowlands and taking over villages and things like that. And Shea has now found herself pretty much in the beehive with them. But she must make the decision whether she wants to remain with the Truteri and help guide them through the Broken Lands so that they can achieve their goal or will she return to the village of people who don't really like her that much and betrayed her anyway. This series is so much fun. This is kind of like a fantasy with a romance subplot if that's what you're into. If you like your fantasy romance with some really good storytelling, some really good romance with a sprinkle of some spice on top. This is an enemies to lovers. This is a slow burn. It's delicious. Shea is sad to the max and she's badass and I love this series. It's the bomb.com. Next we have a manga series and that is The Ancient Magus Bride by Kore Yamazaki. In this story we are following Chize who is an orphan who has been sold into slavery. When she is eventually bought by this dude right here, his name is Elias, and she becomes his magician's apprentice. Pretty much. Chize has the ability to see the magical world around her which assists in her magical apprentice, you know, ship thing. What I really like about this story is that it focuses a lot on conversations about emotions. Elias is not necessarily human, therefore he does not really understand human emotions or human relationships, and Chize helps him a lot with that, and I really like that aspect of it. Also, there's a magical skull involved and magical cats. So, there you go. Is it a little weird? Yes. Does it remind me of a Studio Ghibli film? Also, yes. Is it amazing? Triple yes. Chize and Elias are not the only fantastic characters in this series. There's a fantastic set of secondary characters as well. While the majority of this series is not necessarily traditionally romance, there is a lot of romantic aspects to it and I really, really love it. Thank you very much. Okay. Next, we have Sword Heart by T. Kingfisher. That was difficult. Next, we have Sword Heart by T. Kingfisher. I have mentioned this book multiple times on my channel. This is more of a lighthearted fantasy. If you really like The Princess Bride, I think you will like this as well. The humor is kind of similar. In this story, we are following Hala, who is the housekeeper for her great uncle. When her great uncle passes away, he pretty much leaves his entire fortune to Hala. His closer relatives are not too happy about this, so they try to force Hala into a marriage with her cousin, pretty much. It's literally her cousin. Anyways, Hala decides that she would rather fall on a sword than marry this man that she does not want. So when she tries to fall on the sword, a gigantic blue ball of light appears and a man pops out of the sword. This man's name is Sarkis, and he tells Hala that he is the guardian of this weapon. The guardian is tasked with protecting the wielder of the weapon at all costs. Through some shenanigans, they embark on a journey to try and get Hala's inheritance back without her having to marry uh, this man that she does not want to marry. Obviously, they fall in love. Like I said, this is more of a lighthearted type of fantasy romance. It is a very, very slow burn. There is n pretty much no spice, but it is a lot of fun and it made me very happy. So next we have The Longing of Lone Wolves by Lana P. This is book one in the Fae Guardian series. This is kind of like a post-apocalyptic kind Kind of fantasy romance because it's it's a little weird. Okay, in this story we are following Clark who uh, previously was just chilling in Las Vegas when she wakes up 2,000 years later in a world
world where Faye exists. When she wakes up in this world, she is obviously a little bit shocked, a little bit shaken, if you will, and she ends up in a very precarious situation in which she meets this man named Rush. Rush is a Faye guardian who was cursed, and his curse is that no one can see him. Fortunately, Clark can see him, and when he notices that Clark is the first person in a long time to actually be able to see his physical form, he saves her from the precarious situation, and they embark on a journey to find the person who cursed him and see if they can get the curse broken. Each of the individual books focus on a different couple in the series. The first three are focusing on wolf shifter type fae, and then books four through six are focused on vampire fae. If you really like paranormal creatures, this is the series for you. It is a little bit more spicy than the other ones I have mentioned so far, but it is a beautiful fantasy romance and I loved it so much. Last but certainly not least, we have The Unseelie Prince by Catherine Ann Kingsley. This is book one in the Maze of Shadows series. This is on the darker side of fantasy romance. I wouldn't necessarily say that it is a dark fantasy romance or a dark romance in general. Let me just tell you about it and then we'll get the picture, okay? So in this story, we are following Abigail who is just chilling in her little cottage in the woods. Her husband has recently left her and she is kind of like a mediocre type witch. She's not really very powerful, but she is powerful enough to pretty much bring like a come back home sign out on the front of her stoop. But one night after she places this come back home sign over her stoop, somebody else answers, somebody who is not her husband, someone who just happens to be Valroy, the unseelie prince, whose only desire is to take his rightful place on the unseelie throne. But in order to take this throne, he must take a wife. So he yanks Abigail straight out of the cottage. We've got a captor captive situation. There are some threats of bodily harm. There is also a maze that he sticks her ass in where there's all sorts of different monsters that try to eat her face. Valroy is not a Prince Charming. He is not your knight in shining armor. He is a bad, bad man. And throughout the series, he stays a bad, bad man, which is something that I really liked. He has no soft spots. He is not squishy anywhere. He is a nasty little man. If you're a fan of Labyrinth and you're looking for something kind of similar, kind of a little bit, Check this one out. This is another series that has a fantastic cast of side characters that I just love. There's a little seal man. He transforms into a seal. I love him so much. There's also some primal play within this book, which I found very interesting because I had never read it before in my life, but it was interesting. It was a good time. This is also a slow burn romance, which is my bread and butter, and it takes a while for those hosts to get together. So those are five fantasy romance recommendations. Let me know down below if you would like any more. I have plenty, but I just just wanted to limit it to five so that I don't keep droning on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.